Welcome back to the channel. Today's recap is about a 2018 American cyberpunk action film named Upgrade. The movie follows the story of a technophobe who, after being paralyzed in a mugging, receives a chip implant that gives him power over his body. Spoiler ahead, watch out and have fun. The movie opens in the far future, where Trace and his wife Asha reside in a house where technology manages practically every aspect of daily life. She works for Cobalt, a tech corporation, and he's a mechanic. In order to meet his client, Aaron Keen, Gray takes Asha to a discreet place. Aaron demonstrates to Gray and Asha a brand new, very innovative computer chip dubbed STEM that has the potential to revolutionize both science and medicine. Gray and Asha attempt to have a romantic encounter while driving home because their car is self-driving. However, it looks that the automobile has been hacked as it makes a detour into Gray's former neighborhood. The pair is hurt when the automobile crashes near a junkyard. Fisk is in charge of four goons who drag them away. As Fisk shoots Asha, his comrades knock Gray to the ground before another thug shoots Gray in the spine. Gray attempts to speak to Asha, but she is dying as they depart. Gray now has quadriplegia. He stays in the hospital for a while while his mother Pamela works to make him more comfortable. Gray also meets Detective Cortez, who is working on the prosecution of the criminals responsible for Asha's death and Gray's injuries. The police are using surveillance footage from Jones that were flying overhead during the murder to piece together the suspects, but they have no leads. Later, Aaron comes to see Gray and offers to implant stem in his back in exchange for the chance to regain his ability to walk. Until Aaron says that Asha would have preferred for him to start walking again, Gray is opposed to the notion. Gray carries out the surgery and even signs a non-disclosure agreement to promise not to talk about stem to anybody. He is able to walk once again after recovering his motor skills. He leaves without telling Pamela about the discovery. In a little while, Gray begins to hear a voice talking to him. Stem is who it actually is. Stem first causes Gray to stress out, but he soon realizes that she's composed and eager to help. Stem retrieves the murder drone footage which gives Gray sharper pictures of the murderers. Gray learns that Fisk had a pistol implanted in his hand and used it to shoot Asha. Gray makes an attempt to call Cortez, but Stem cautions him that the video he has seen through Stem will not be enough proof to catch the thugs. Stem recognizes a tattoo on one of the thugs, Cirque, and uses it to find his address. Gray locates Cirque's home and enters. Gray is instructed by Stem to read the notes on Cirque's computer table, but there are several allusions to the old dog, a tavern in Gray's former neighborhood. Cirque discovers Gray right after arriving home. Until Gray gives Stem permission to assume complete control, he fights him. Gray is able to evade Cirque's assaults and precisely retaliate. Gray snatches the knife Cirque tries to use to stab him, murdering him by slicing his head from the mouth to the ears. After realizing he just killed a man, Gray throws up. Then Stem assists Gray in cleaning up the crime scene so that no traces of his presence remain. After keeping an eye on Stem's actions, Aaron meets with Gray. Gray claims that he never said that Stem could communicate to him, despite the fact that he's aware that Gray killed Cirque. Gray is instructed by Aaron not to pursue anybody else. After Cirque's body has been examined at the mortuary, Cortez watches additional drone footage. Gray is passing by as she watches in his wheelchair. She visits him to find out what he was doing there, and when she does, Gray gets back in his wheelchair and makes up a tale even though he's aware that he may use his disability as an excuse. Gray visits Old Dog while seated in his wheelchair. Then he appeals to anyone who may have knowledge of his wife's murder to come forward in front of the entire bar. Tolan, one of the men, rises and acknowledges his presence. He drags Gray to a back room where he and a few other thugs attempt to hurt Gray when Stern intervenes and gives Gray the opportunity to beat the living daylights out of him. He holds Tolan down and starts to torture him with a knife until he confesses the identity of Fisk. Stem then informs Gray that Aaron is trying to manually turn him off, which would make Gray immobile once more. He provides Gray with the location of Jamie, a hacker who can reboot him. In order to sprint to reach Jamie, Gray abandons his wheelchair. After Gray leaves, Fisk returns to the bar some hours later and discovers Tolan's dead body. He observes Gray reciting the address Stem told him using memory video from a camera in Tolan's eye. The bartender is then criticized by Fisk for allowing Tolan to die. The bartender takes out a revolver, but Fisk merely sneezes and releases tiny microbots that enter his nose and gradually kill him from the inside out. Gray locates the hacker's place as he begins to deteriorate physically. Gray's arm was inscribed with a code that Stern instructed Jamie to use to reset Gray. Jamie and her hacking friends go before Stem can reboot, but she notices Fisk and his friend Jeffries arrive with the security cameras. Stem is back, 
Fisk and Jeffries discover Gray. When Jeffries attempted to attack Gray with his gun hand, during a chase after Gray battles the two bad guys, Gray grabs his wrist and forces Jeffries to blow his brains out. Pamela observes Gray as he walks back to his house. He tells her the truth, but he begs her not to tell anyone. Cortez then arrives at the residence to inquire more after discovering his wheelchair outside Old Dog. Gray invents a new tale in which he was out and about attempting to be a hero when he was jumped by a man who took his wheelchair. When Gray tries to locate Fisk after Cortez has left, she learns that Cortez is driving after him. She bugged his jacket, Stem argues. Gray is able to lose Cortez after a chase by making another vehicle collide with hers. Gray confronts Fisk after discovering him there. Fisk admits that although Gray was the only goal and Asha was simply a bonus, he was recruited to ambush him. Upon discovering that Cirque was his brother, Gray teases Fisk, boasting about having murdered him. Gray causes Fisk to fall and has glass ran through his brain in order to assassinate him while he's unprotected. He borrows Fisk's phone and picks up a voicemail from Aaron, who gave him the order to pursue Gray. Gray visits Aaron in his lab to confront him because he thinks he wanted to make Gray disabled so he could test out Stem on someone. Aaron is about to be shot by Gray, but Cortez stops him and tells him to put the pistol away. Then Aaron admits that Stem had always been in charge of him and that he was not responsible for the murder plan. Stem developed into an overly brilliant individual who desired his own body. As a result, he tricked Aaron into planning every step necessary to obtain Gray's body, even hacking Gray's automobile to create the collision. Gray awakens on an operating room bed. He's shocked to discover Asha there, who's pleased that he's awake. The vehicle crash seems to have caused him to awaken from a coma. However, this is a lie. Gray assaults Aaron's house, murdering everyone in his way, but is stopped from killing Aaron by Cortez because he's being held at gunpoint. Aaron admits that Stem coerced him into doing what it wanted since it had long ago taken control of every area of his life in order to achieve its ultimate objective of becoming human. Stem shoots Cortez and eliminates Aaron, but Gray battles for control of his own body and shoots himself in the head. Gray attempts to avoid injuring anybody by stabbing his own hand, but Stern seizes control of both his body and mind to stab Aaron in the head. And then, when Cortez is unconscious, he pulls a revolver and points it at her. Then Gray shouts that he's in charge before shooting himself in the neck to eliminate Stem. Not paralyzed, Gray awakens in a hospital room. After their accident, Asha says that he has been unconscious for two days. Gray is still there at Aaron's house in actuality. Gray's mind has finally been fractured according to Stem, who is in complete control, who tells Cortez that this was Stem's goal all along since it allowed Stem to take control of both Gray's mind and body. Gray is trapped in a dream in which he may reunite with Asha once again since his mind has collapsed, allowing Stem to entirely control both his body and mind. Cortez learns Stem has power over her, so Stem shoots her to death and then departs. While Stem kills Cortez and departs, Gray's awareness accepts the wonderful dream state it has discovered. And that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to many such videos. Thanks for watching and take care.